We reached the Semipalatinsk nuclear test site. What? Restricted area? Passage and travel is prohibited. And the first on our route will be the ghost town of nuclear scientists. And the code name is Chagon 16. Wow! Underground. Next we went to the underground airport, from where nuclear bombers took off. Can you hear it? They ran out of there. There's a whole herd there. Shook. We need to take samples, Anten. Then we will find ourselves in an area of high radioactive contamination, where we want to go fishing in an atomic lake, which was formed due to a thermonuclear explosion. An underground nuclear explosion becomes the creator, or constructor, of an artificial reservoir. Next, on these bikes, we will go to the center of the test site, where there seems to be a nuclear test reactor and a nuclear waste storage facility. There is very little information about this on the internet, but there is definitely some kind of secret city there. And finally, we will go to the experimental field, where atomic and thermonuclear bombs were tested. Unlike Chernobyl, the nuclear test site is simply huge and we need to drive more than 300 kilometers on these bikes. We will most likely not meet people, there is no mobile communication here either. We stocked up on gasoline, water and food for four days. It is not known for certain if there is security there, so we will be extremely careful. Oh, I wish I knew what awaits us there, and that armed guards will hunt us. But everything has its time. Let's go! So, guys, we just turned off the road. Straight onto this concrete road. Do you know where concrete roads lead? Yes, to military units. Look here at the entrance there is such a monument. That's what it says here. It's a bomber, right? Yes, this thing dropped bombs. So, guys, next we go to the abandoned city, then there will be the nuclear test site itself. Let's go! And here begins that same abandoned city, Chagan, where the military unit that was responsible for these nuclear tests was located. Look at the ruins! Looks scary! Wow! Let's take a closer look at this. It's so dark! Look! Holy moly! Guys, look! Everything is completely abandoned! It's not a small town, right? Yes, this was a military town. On the internet, they write like this. Looks like prepute, right? Yes. Only here there is less greenery, and there are strange holes. There must be a reason. There are no people at all. There were marauders here. Look, there are only boxes. Look, there isn't even a roof on this one. Yes. Was it washed away by water? Why do we need a canal along the road? They probably dug up the high-voltage copper cable. Nutrition. Marauders. Just look how much of it there is. Guys, we're moving, but it doesn't end. But it looks cool, like some location from an apocalypse movie. But the houses are brand new, look. Apparently they just built it and immediately abandoned it. It's good that we have pedals. You can alternate the motor with pedals. Motorbikes. This is all surprisingly very scary. But how do we get inside? Where is the entrance? It's here. We'll put the bikes here and go there, through the ruins. Let's go. There seems to be no one here. It will not be stolen. This is where the defense came off. The radiation level is increasing, but just a little. Eight or ten. Six. Four two. Yes, two Rentgens higher. Amazing. I have great impressions. It's in such good condition. They could rebuild it and restore it. It looks like it was abandoned immediately after restoration. Now we'll go inside. Let's go see what's there. Did they steal the ladder? Go to the next door where Pasha lives. Pasha. Wow. This is my first time seeing this. Look. Wow, look, everything is empty. 
they dismantled the stairs. There is only one thing. So we don't go there? No, the real looters sought it out and broke the fittings for scrap metal. Look what's inside here. Holy moly, be careful. I didn't expect this. This confuses me. Look what's up. It may fall on our heads. This is not Pripyat, guys. There is no ladder. I'm just shocked. Look, a garbage chute. Come on, Anton. Great. What's in the apartments? Wait. What's there? Holy moly. There should be a ladder there. The viewing angle is not enough for you guys to see it. Is this from the toilet? Toilet rims. I hope I don't get into shit. This is not Pripyat. Nothing has been preserved here. Absolutely everything has been demolished. And it was someone's apartment. Now there is no wallpaper or anything. They even pulled out the pipes. Look. Look at these holes in the walls. Wow. There was tile here, right? That's all that's left. Small piece. But it's well glued. USSR quality. Just look at the view from the window. A beautiful place. There was a courtyard here where the children were running. Yes. They were already running in military uniform. You see? Guys. These are the same houses as in Pripyat. For some reason, only these are very much looted. Do you know why? Because there is no radiation here. Am I mistaken, or are these radio covers? Do you know what this is? I know what it is. These are electrical distribution boxes. So this is a shield. Please note that the wires are in place. Because they are not copper. If only they were copper. So they are aluminum. Here, look, the wiring is also in place. But the sockets were stolen. Imagine, somewhere these sockets were sold. There was a socket here. And also here. And here. Switch. Three wires. Grounding. Phase. Looks like these three led to the chandelier. To the chandelier. Phase and two for the chandelier. Bright and dim light. So let's go see what else is here. Okay. Wow. Are all houses like this? I would like to climb to the roof. Look, what a terrible entrance. How so? And there is no way to get there. Our bikes are standing. The rooms are quite large, on really. Wow. People lived well. Not the right word. Imagine, there was a sofa here, a window. There was a mezzanine with shelves, with a TV that had a diagonal of 54. Is this wallpaper? Yes. But it's faded because there are no windows. Leaves. But just look out the window. Imagine, here these military men opened the window, took out a cigarette and smoked leisurely. There was a kitchen table here, the table top was most likely the most ordinary, Soviet one, made of pressed chipboard. Remember, you may have seen this with your grandmother. There were cabinets hanging here, and here somewhere there was probably a sink, for some reason they always like to put it in the corner, in the kitchen. This is easy to determine, there's a hole there, the pipes probably came out there. There was a gas stove here somewhere, there had to be gas pipes here, because oh, here, up, this, here, here. And this is a children's bedroom. And the window is so scary, quite gloomy, even traces of the battery remained. These are really quartz stones, look. No, it's not quartz. It's just a facade, right? Yes. In the modern world they make facade panels to improve the building, right? And in Soviet times they simply glued stones. Imagine, when the sun shines, these houses just sparkle. Did you notice how it was visible even from afar? These stones reflect light. There was a big defeat here. Do you remember we had drum washing machines? Yes. Are quite small. They were usually placed directly in the bathtub to wash things. Soviet wiring. Do you remember how fashion used to be like this? Are you talking about hanging cabinets? Yes. These are the traces. And look, the wallpaper is pasted only up to here. There were such lockers. I wonder if all houses don't have stairs. We need to go and check. Imagine, you go out into the entrance, and here it is. Let's go into the basement. Do you want to take a look? Dima is already eating something. I found gooseberries. Let's go to the basement. Looks like a watermelon. 
in the nuclear city. What's in the basement? A lot of different garbage. Let's get in there. Fine. Entrance to the basement. Do you see the stones that stick out from the walls? Yes. Wow. Feels like being in a submarine. Let me take a look. Wow. Look. Wow. Just look at these passages. It's for communication, right? Here was a junction of pipes all along this house. Hot water was supplied from here, and technical light was also projected here. Look! Ancient drawings. This is a soldier. Do you see the belt on him? Yes, I see. But where is his head? Listen. It feels like it was painted a couple of minutes ago. Maybe we're not even alone here. You think so? Yes, it's erased. Wow! Let's go back. But it's so cool here, there's a special atmosphere. Yes, quite specific. There is no smell of homeless people here and there is only technical garbage. This means that you can spend the night here. It will be warm here at night, even if it is cold outside. Notice that there is no wind here at all. There are such supports under the house, just look. It's as if the house is supported only by these stones. These are just piles, concrete piles. That is, the foundation has been poured, this is what it is. And all the houses are supported only by these blocks. You can mine several entrances with explosives, blow it up, and watch how the house collapses. What do you think about it? Write in the comments, guys, do you want us to blow up a house in the city of Chagan? There's a lion cub drawn there. Yeah, let's go watch it. There are a lot of drawings there. Someone got in there, because the pipe is there for a reason. I'm wondering how long ago this was drawn. Just recently, or many years ago. Look! Most likely, it was drawn later. There used to be wallpaper here. Then why did they paint the walls? 2016. Maybe it's waterproofing. From moisture. It was probably quite cold here in winter, but they glued wallpaper so that there was no temperature difference. Sasha, this is a classic. All Soviet people did this. Look, nothing unusual. Newspapers? Newspapers under the wallpaper? Wishing ton? What? Shook. Wait, this is a very interesting thing. Imagine how many years this was stored right under the wallpaper. Look. TVNZ. Organ of the Central Committee of the Komsomol. 1984. Holy moly. This is so ancient. It turns out that it was built and glued in 1984. But what does it say here? Or later. Never before has the danger of a global nuclear war been as real as it is now. Those who are at the top of power in Washington, through their actions, continue to push humanity to the fatal line. This is Soviet propaganda. Imagine, about nuclear war. We found this at a nuclear test site. Shook. Today, this is expressed in their desire to achieve military superiority. Holy moly! It was in the USSR that they wrote about Washington that they were dangerous. I think if you rummage under the wallpaper, you can find a lot of interesting things. In short, I'll take a photo and post it on Instagram. Check it out and read what it says. Dima, do you like the view from the window? So beautiful. Would you live here? No, hardly. Better in Pripyat. 60th anniversary of Lenin. Born for achievement. They raised soldiers here. You know. Look, what a scary face. Dangerous position. They breathe nuclear air. Do you know what is most important for a stalker? Copper, metal, cast iron pipes are not important to him. This memory that remains here is important to him. Are these notes? What it is? There are words there. As if in a fairy tale, the jagged pine forest looked into the blue. Girls rushed to the factory, crushing the grass with their heels. Guys, musical notation. This letter. Letter? No way. The fee is 30 kopecks. Vadineva Raisa Vasilyevna. Uh -huh. Nationality Russian. 
Moscow region. It's so strange to read this because we are in Kazakhstan. Apparently, they came from all over the USSR to work in this city and did such things here. But this brand, how do I get this off? Let me take a look at this. So, collectors will love this. 30 kopecks. It costs 200 rubles. Here's the address. PGT Chagan, Pionerskaya Street, Building 71, Apartment 29, 1980, January 5th. There are so many brands here. This is value. This is what needs to be collected, not metal. Story. Yes, actually, guys, this is not a small town. Great, we had enough fuel for 50 miles. But also the wind. Please note that there was a strong wind. Now we'll refuel, there's still a little gas left, the tank is not completely empty, and we will go further to the nuclear test site. Since one of the bikes died, we now have a lot of gas. I'm thinking here it would be cool to go around with a metal detector. Was propaganda really spread that much in the USSR? As you can see, yes. I didn't even think that this could happen in the USSR, for the propaganda to be so strong. Yes, no one talked about this. Even my relatives didn't talk about it, it was so bad. They probably just believed it all, and even... Didn't think about it. Yes, such horror. Washington wants to attack. They're funny. However, what they have achieved, what powerful technologies they have created. This is true. And imagine how people worked in such fear. About that. Washington may attack. Repairs in the abandoned city of Chagan. At the Semipalatinsk nuclear test site. Something rattled loudly. We thought it was a knitting needle. That's what it was. Look guys. The protection was torn off on one side. It was holding there, but then the fastening broke. That's where it burst. But Anton says he has an idea how to fix it. So are you going to put a wire in there? We have this washer or plate. Now I'll drill a hole. Wow! So it will be of high quality? And Cheburashka has almost reached the radiation. Look what happened to metal. Here's what happened with it. What are you doing now? We make circuit protection. Look, guys, Anton made an extension cord. This is an extension cord. Hello. Hello. We are tourists, we ride here, we are interested in seeing the city. Is it you again? This is our first time here. Hello? What's happened? With me? I heard someone screaming and thought that was it, they had come to kill us. No, I'm herding cows. And they enter the basement. Into the basement? <laughs> Probably due to the cold. Yes, it's hot here. We travel on bikes, but now they are a little broken, so we are repairing them. I lived here in the city. Right in Chagan? Yes. What year were you born? 1978. You mean right here? Yes. Holy moly. I saw it all. And do you remember how they dropped the bombs? Sure. Would it be scary? Yes. Even the windows shook. And the chandeliers swung? Yes. Holy moly. But it was a good city. Yes. Ranked second in Kazakhstan. Was this abandoned in 1995? There were Russian soldiers here, right? Yes. Protected from radiation, from Moscow. The products were brought from there. What about radiation here? Closed it. Are people born with disabilities? Is it true? No, normal people. They say, that was earlier. Is it normal now? Now it's normal. Fine, then we will continue. Best wishes. Great, guys, everything is fine. The worst is over. He screamed so much. I even wanted to get a spray can. <laughs> yes, guys, you should know that just in case we have this thing. Yes. From NATO. For self-defense. Anything can happen in life. Besides, there are three of us. They could have sprayed it together on him. Yes, to spray it on three sides. 3D effect. 
Chagan, founded in 1950. On September 30, 1958 it received the status of a workers' village. It was abandoned. Before the collapse of the Soviet Union, it was a military town. 10 to 11,000 inhabitants lived there. Most of the personnel were located 10 miles southwest of the Chagan military airfield, where long-range strategic aviation was based. It was a heavy bomber aircraft. In short, atomic bombs were dropped from there. There were two kindergartens here, imagine, primary and secondary schools as well as a stadium. In 1995, all military units were withdrawn to Russia. The city was transferred to the Republic of Kazakhstan, and there were no more people here. We have repaired the protection. Now we will continue our journey. Now we need to leave this abandoned city and go towards the training ground. Imagine, the entire city was left abandoned. How so? Guys, we want to lower the tire pressure in order to drive better on the ground. And so that there is not a strong load on the spokes, we will lower it to 1.8 or even 2. Let's check the spokes. Guys, we're deflating the tires, but this can only be measured with an electronic pump. 1.2 now, I overdid it. I'll leave it at 1.9. It starts much better with the enricher. So guys, we continue on our way. Now we are going straight to the airfield. Nuclear bombers took off there. They dropped these atomic bombs. Guys, look, there are such hills around this city. There are a lot of them. These are not just hills. Underneath them there are bomb shelters in case of nuclear war. The steering wheel needs to be tightened. It seems to me that there I found a vein canal with a hole. Yes? Yes. But you need to check this on the map. Guys, there are huge bomb shelters underground. And this is no coincidence. This is a nuclear test site. They are hiding from nuclear explosions here. And perhaps they were doing something else in these bomb shelters. My steering wheel is very sticky, which is why I am driving so slowly. Look what happened here. There was a bombing here. Look. Why was it opened? This is the first time in my life I see this. The bomb shelter has been opened. It's interesting that that part is intact. I think there's an entrance there. Yes, most likely. Let's go there. I wonder when so many birds started appearing there. The entrance to the bomb shelter is right in front of us. For some reason the entrance was not dug. This is interesting. Look, dunes. Yes, that's here too. It's strange that in Google Images, it's a whole thing. What is this? The dove flew out. There are further rubbles, but let's go look at this. Overwhelmed. Yes. Where? Holy moly. The smell of the USSR. Yes, this is a dead end. It is so cold here. Wow, imagine they were able to crush it. Yes. We looked from the other side, everything there was destroyed. Yes. Now everything is in the sand. I feel sorry for this bomb shelter. Holy moly. Look. Condensation on the walls. This is weird. It's so damp there. It's terrible. And also very cold. Where it was excavated, I saw the same. Entrance? It will be the same. But let's see. Something tells me that. Oh, look, entrance. It's the same thing, Anton. Do you think there's a blockage there? These were the entrances to a huge bomb shelter. You're saying that there was a bomb shelter there? Yes, right in the middle. It had two floors, two-story bomb shelter. Guys, it's not there anymore. Yes, it's destroyed. They are devils. Yes. The Kazakhs dug up such a cool place. I have a feeling inside that the girl left me. I've been coming here for so long, and it's all in vain. They live right in burrows. Yes? Imagine. Lots of holes. You see, they climb right into holes. Like bats in Thailand, but just imagine, these are swallows.
The bird flew away, but it sat on that. This is a swallow. Swallow eggs? Okay, enough of the bother. Holy moly. Attack? The bird is attacking you. No way. It's really a bird. Damn, let's get out of here. It's terrible, they dug everything up. Huge bomb shelter. Two story. Recently there was a bearded man who gave us these coordinates. This was the leader of the motorcycle club. But it's too late, it's already destroyed. On Google Images a year ago the bomb shelter was there. What's happened? I injured. Here. He's bleeding. Holy moly, why are you having no luck there? I cut it. How? Glass? About this. About a pine tree? Use it. Band-aid. Crisscross. This way it will hold up better. We found such a thing. This is the only surviving hole. Go ahead, get in there. This is for defense. I hope there are no wolves here. First you need to throw the firecracker, and then climb. There won't be any wolves there. What's inside? We want to see this. This is all? You can spend the night here, it's warm here. But I think we can find a better place. There is still time, we can spend the night at an abandoned airport. And again, endless step. Only roads, we move on. We thought it was a bomb shelter, but look. What's down there? What's there? Yes, what it is. Missile silo, I don't think so. Look, there's the same thing there. This is so strange. It's the same there, right? Holy moly. Same thing again. It looks like it was a roof, but it fell through. Could this be a fuel storage facility? Look, there are pillars there. Yes. Perimeter. It was a perimeter. Looks like something military. It looks like huge pants. Look, guys. Holy moly. What's there? There's water there. Yes? This is so strange. There's a lot of water there. Look at the depth. Horror. Radioactive water. I wonder what it could be. Why is this at a nuclear test site? Look, some strange things. Water passed through them and drained. Maybe cooling? Strange. What could it be? There's a cable here, right? Yes. And this continues to the nuclear test site. There are also some rings here. Okay, let's move on. The nuclear test site is waiting for us. Guys, we are going to one of the last settlements before this nuclear test site. Now we are going to buy water and gasoline. There are two-story houses there, you will drive a little. Two-story houses? Yes, you will see a store, from the left side. Let's go look for a store. Guys, this is a nuclear village, on the outskirts of a nuclear test site. Yes, this is a completely different Kazakhstan. Look, the windows are blocked for some reason. The atmosphere here is simply terrible. Does anyone really live here? Sasha, they know you here. Look. Hello. Are you a Creason? Yes. Hello. I'm your subscriber. Cool. We tried to catch up with you on the Otish, but we couldn't. On the Otish? Yes. But we caught you. <laughs> you were there? Yes. Can I take a photo? What do you think about living at a nuclear test site? Fine. Is there radiation here? Mutants? No. Where are they? There is none of them. But there is no radiation here, Anton. Five x-rays. It's heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. Let's shout. One, two, three. <laughs> Done. This is good. Please draw. You too. I want to. Good. Yes. Okay. 
Mom, I'm on TV. I'll be on TV. Can I have some more? Okay, I think with these autographs we will stay here for another two days. <laughs> Things didn't go according to plan. Do you know how old these sneakers are? About five. They were in Chernobyl. Yes, I wore these sneakers to Chernobyl and Baikonur. What percentage of radiation was in Chernobyl? Is it closed here? Bye. Holly Molly. Is it closed? It's open there. There's another store there. I forgot to take a photo with you. Wow, Chepirashka. Good luck to you. Thank you. Be careful. You are cool. Guys, you are cool too. Local store. We want to have a snack. Is this Kratter sausage? Krakowskaya, with garlic. Is that fresh? Yes. Give us some sausage. It must be delicious. Uh -huh. Have you ever tried Krakow sausage? It's semi-smoked. Then take this. Who doesn't have money? Take it. Take it. You too. And this is for you, guys. Guys, decide for yourself how to divide it. Share with each other. Fine. At least a piece. This is my first time seeing bloggers. Don't take off your shoes? Wait a bit. You hurry? No, on the contrary. We are tired from the road. You can at least sit on the sofa during all this time. Otherwise, it's hard to ride a bike for a long time. So these are bicycles? Hello. Yes. Come in, sit down. I love Pilaf. We ordered a Chinese motor for regular bicycles. On ozone or wild berries. A box arrived from China in two weeks. There was a gas handle a motor, a chain, bicycle kit, and we put it on the bike. Remember, something similar happened with the USSR before, maybe you saw it. Villages often had D6 engines. Is it good for driving? Yes, but it often breaks. The spokes break. What about the night? We have a tent. We go to the field and set up a tent on a carpet. In the morning we fix it a little and go further. Bye. Holly Molly, it's a Times Square. <laughs> the stove heats quite well. It's so warm here. Are you cold? Look. But it's cold. But this makes me feel warm. I feel it. Do you drown in the morning and evening? Two or three times. It's so small and economical. Do you buy coal? Yes. Is this enough for you? Yes, that's enough. Is coal expensive? 15,000 per ton. Yes. How many tons do you need for the winter? Nine or ten. Holy moly, if 15,000 a ton. 150,000 per season. I have three daughters and an heir. Holy moly, they are beautiful. Will you be placing rings? Yes, rings. How many? Two. Three. There's another one there. Anton, look. Are these sleepers? Yes. Sleepers. Holy moly. House made of sleepers. Look how insulated it is. You put a layer, put glass wool, then another layer and so on in a circle. Yes, exactly. It's not bad. Look how cool it is. There's a pretty thick tree there. Oh, Dima. What are you doing here? Where there is food, there is Dima. Thank you. Have a seat. Eat. This is horse meat. Horse meat. Horse meat? You have no idea how hard we were looking for this. Bon appetit everyone. Thank you. How do you like it? Special taste? It's very, very tasty. It's homemade, right? Mm. I didn't eat homemade. It's homemade. Mm -hmm. The one from the store has a completely different taste. They went out. Do you know how to start this? Add some gas first. It may not work out right the first time. Mom, I'm on YouTube. Just try it. I'm also on YouTube. You squeeze the clutch, accelerate. I'll support you. A little more. Now let go. Great. Almost. Almost. Try again. Brake just like on a regular bike. Let it go. Accelerate. Oh. 
Now he will return from there. Does he know how to break? Certainly. Why wouldn't he know? Can you hear? It's so loud. He asks how it turns off. Step on the gas. Like this. Wow. It was cool. <laughs> Bro, this is really weak. Look, is this a motor? It is a toy. Can I take a ride? Damn, I'm scared for you. Because he's small. Thank you very much. Holy moly, just look at the guards accompanying us. A midge flew into my mouth. Now we will watch the boys hut, they called us very much. Imagine that you are a blogger, make a room tour of your hut. My name is Shamir Dinabai. And my name is Aziz Alelahan. Now we will show you our house. Forward, room tour of the hut. Can you shoot? Yes. Here is our hut. Why are you shooting yourself? Wow. Just look at this lamp. <laughs> Guys, look, there's a bad Cam AZ truck here. Here the steering wheel is a steering wheel. How long did it take you to build this? Fast. One day. Have you ever been scolded for cutting off fresh branches? No. This tree has fallen. Yes. A tree fell there. We took it away. You did a good job. Hello subscribers. Subscribe to the croissant channel. And press the buttons. These guys don't give bad advice, so really subscribe to the channel. Write in the comments what city you are from and wait for us to visit. Yes. Subscribe and like. Will you be doing merch? Yes, we have to. Great. If we make merch, we'll send it to you for free. Wow. Fine. Hooray. Agree? Black for me. Clench your fists. And now on to three. One, two, three. Good job. You have such a cool hut. I don't want to leave here, but we need to go. Because it's already getting dark. We still need to find accommodation for the night. Let's hug, guys. Yes. Wow. Wow. Are you alive? It's so hard. Gadar, let's go see them off. Your bike started so easily. Anton started it. Wow! Such an unexpected fan meeting. Now guys, we are going to the nuclear airfield. Bombers with atomic bombs took off from there. Guys, we stopped for a second. We are looking for a place to stay for the night. It's almost completely dark. The camera can see almost nothing. Back there, this is where we came from. There are lights shining there. This is the village where a bunch of children met us. We've run out of gas. Anton tops it up. Along the way there will be another abandoned city. It is called Chagan Airport. Atomic. Nuclear Airport. It's so quiet here, Anton. Is it full or half empty? We definitely need to refuel. Yes, that's complete. I'll fill yours first. Okay. Look, light it up here. This one is almost empty too. Crap. It almost hit my eye. Is it pouring? Wow. That told you. Don't touch me, I'm Sasha. But it's very dark. Stop. Yes, that's enough. Enough? Anton likes to pour a lot. Headquarters of the 2nd Regiment. We're coming right here. Look. These are barracks. It is very well preserved. There's only a little left. Come on. A bit more. A bit more. Stop. Great. Everything is in contract. One canister? Tomorrow, we will refuel in the last village. Yes. In short, Anton grabbed a gas canister. Some strange people were coming after us. Turn off the light. Turn it off. We found an abandoned building. These are former barracks. It's so scary here. But it smells like cows in here. Let's not start the bikes too far. It's better to put them here. It's very scary here. Dima does not follow the first rule of a stalker. It goes straight onto the road. He wants to leave the bike there. 
Yes, guys, it's very dark here. As if something was burning. The smell of dampness. Overall, a lot of cow shit. This stresses me out. Lots of windows. What to do with his bike? Let it stand there for now. Yes, and now let's go look for something here. A place to stay for the night. Cows can sleep here. It's crap everywhere here. Anton, let's go. Do not stay on the same place. Let's go here. Imagine, we come here while they are sleeping. Look at the atmosphere here. Just look up. Horror. This is also disassembled. That's what the Kazakhs did. Here are the bricks, they were breaking it, you know? This is the first time I've seen this, so much cow shit. Look, there's plenty of space here. Yes. What is this? 2018. Hard. NSC, Novosibirsk. Maybe we can go check out the building next door? I think the same thing will happen there. No, let's go and check it out. Okay, but we may have to spend the night on the street. It's scary here and everything is shit, you know. So that's it. We went outside. I suggest walking to the next building. Let me shine the light on the building. I remember that a long time ago. We often walked through abandoned buildings. Let's go there. What's there? Look. Something strange. Maybe a monument. It's a coffin. Of course not. Do not joke so. But what is it? This is a transformer. No. Look, the rays are diverging. Nothing is written here. Strange. What is it then? Look, there's someone there. Yes. Holy moly. Horror. What to do? There are cows there. I'm so scared now. What to do then? Most likely there is a shepherd there. I was really very scared. You cannot imagine. I saw a glowing eye. My heart dropped for a second. I also thought there was someone wild there. Horror. And there. Do you hear any sound? There are cows there too. Horror. I always have this ready. To neutralize the cows. Holy shit, what it is. Holy moly, is this a stuffed animal? Wow. I have goosebumps, Anton. But what is it? Wow. Who did it? Someone before us did this. What it is? This is. Ghost of a military man. Damn, I heard such sounds. Now she moves in our house. Now it will eat our bikes. This building is not an option for spending the night. It is in poor condition, so the cows may not have entered there. Let's watch. The entrance is here. But if there is a cow, then there is a shepherd. No, they let them go and they come home on their own. Do they walk on their own? Strange. I didn't see the cows walking on their own. Are they not aggressive at night? They won't attack? No, they are afraid. They are afraid of us. And we are afraid of them. The birds have flown there. Did you see that? There was an owl there. Owl? Here look, we could sleep here. It's pretty clean here. I would climb up there to the second floor. There would be no cows there. Maybe we can climb here? It's too dangerous. It fell from above, you know? Look at them guys. It has horns. Could this hit us? Are they attached? No, no. Should I shine some more light on them? Don't do that. What is this? Do the eyes glow there? Yes, do not shine there. Another one. We haven't been to this building yet. There are many of them here. Should there be dogs with them to protect them? Dogs do not guard, but herd. Maybe they are aggressive? No. It's so scary here. Holy moly, guys, the area is like in Pripyat. Shine it on the building. Holy moly. Let's go there. But here is the network entrance. But this is a cool building, look. Yes, well preserved. When I dreamed of a house for myself, it had to be three stories. Holy moly. This is so creepy. There are no windows here at all. Let's go up there. And all that was left was the frame. There are steps here. There are stairs. Holy moly. Then we are saved. Now we will go upstairs. What? What's wrong? I'm listening to. There are steps there. So everyone noticed it. 
There might be homeless people here. Or cows. Damn, there are steps here, but something is wrong. These steps are useless. Look where this leads. Do you see this too? Damn, it seems to me or not. No. Is this a horse? Or a cow? Is this a corpse? Yes. Just look. Horror. No guys, I don't want to be here. Let's get out of here. This is a very scary place. It's in shit and with corpses. Guys, we're leaving here. Are you sure we're going the right way? Where is that monument? It seems to be on the other side. Then let's set up a tent right here? Let's put it right here. Fine. I want to put the bikes nearby so they don't get stolen while we're not looking. We still decided to put up a tent here, outside. Because the buildings smell very strongly of shit. But here we hear very scary sounds. Horror. So scary. Here we go. Our house is ready for this night. Only the cow's eyes glow in the dark. Somewhere. Done. I don't know whether it's correct or not, but we went to sleep for the night. In a visible place. At the barracks at the nuclear test site. The spray can from NATO is here. Blinding flashlight too. Show me the knife. And a knife right under the heart. This. We are ready. Why? Because the shepherds here can be inadequate. But who are you afraid of? Tell me your concerns. You know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Of course, I'm not afraid of anything, but it's just better to be safe. Let him keep it to himself. It's better than. The cow could attack, or that coyote. Okay. Okay, guys, good night. Of course it's cool for you there, behind the monitor screen. And we'll be shaking with fear all night. Terrible. Yes, it's terrible. I don't know if we will be able to sleep well, but nevertheless, I hope you will appreciate our efforts and the risks. Good night, guys. Good night, that's all. I hope there will be no camera turns on or filming at night. At that moment we did not yet know that there was a herd of horses lurking in the neighboring house. To be continued.